Jordana Miller's been keeping a close eye on this story for us from Jerusalem. She joins me now for more. Jordana, first of all, tell us a bit more about Israel's new president. Well, Isaac Herzog is really the closest uh, uh, that Israel can get to a kind of being part of a royal family, uh, what we could call maybe Israel's Camelot, like the Kennedys. Uh, his father was uh, president of Israel. Uh, his grandfather played a major role in the establishment of Israel. And he has really uh, dedicated his life to public service. Uh, he comes from the left wing of Israeli politics. He led the Labor Party. He tried unsuccessfully to unseat uh, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Uh, and many people have long said that this job, being Israel's president, which is a, a kind of ceremonial role, nonetheless a very important one uh, for Israel's uh, kind of perception around the world, that this is a job Isaac Herzog was born to have, because he is already uh, so familiar with uh, not only the Jewish diaspora, Jews who live outside of Israel, but he is a known name around the world, in capitals around the world, in Washington. Uh, and he is also has a, uh, we should say, in the legacy of Shimon Peres, he is a full supporter of a two-state solution and peace between Israelis and Palestinians, which, of course, is something that was has been ignored for a long time here under Netanyahu and under former President uh, Donald Trump. So, Jordana, given all of what you've just said, what kind of effect might the new president have on the coalition building that's going on right now? Right. Well, uh, that's a great question. Uh, you know, clearly, Isaac Herzog uh, is a proponent of the parties that are working feverishly to uh, announce a new government by the midnight deadline here. Uh, and from what we're hearing, uh, from what I'm hearing from sources on the ground, uh, the centrist Yetir Lapid, who's leading those negotiations, he's just about uh, closed uh, the deal with really eight different parties. Uh, this is a government that will reflect Israel like none other, from right to left, uh, religious, secular, uh, straight, gay. Uh, this uh, will be a, a new kind of government for Israel, and it appears that it is going to happen. Uh, it is a fateful day for Israel's Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, what some are saying, the end of his dominance of Israeli politics. Uh, he will be pushed to the opposition, and it's not clear that he will be able to survive there for very long. Uh, this new government may pass laws that will prevent Netanyahu from running again to lead the country because of his corruption trial. That criminal indictment really is undoing in the end. Jordana, thank you for that, and thanks for keeping an eye on this story for us as it develops throughout the day. Jordana Miller there reporting from Jerusalem. Thanks.